Welcome everyone, and thank you for joining me in The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, where last time we completed the Lightning Temple and got our fourth sage, and this time we're going to be doing some side quest stuff, because there's a lot of things going on that I haven't really gotten around to. We've got all the Zelda stuff, the, uh, the stable, you know, the news, whatever things they are, to get the froggy armor. And then there was also this one thing over here that I wanted to do. In either, yeah, not last part, but the part, oh yeah, of course, as soon as we go away, summons her. But yeah, we found that guy who had run off into the dunes. Yeah, Riju's vows granted you the power to summon her avatar. Uh, where were those guys? Oh, we need to put on our... Our fast sand pants. Where are they at? Um, these ones. Since we're in the sandy area. And what, we got cold resistance on? I don't think we really need that right now. Um, yeah, we'll do that one. Oh, uh, we're not in hot weather though. Does it really matter what we're wearing? We'll put the hood on. Sure. Oh, and our weapons. Yeah, I put those ones on for the thumbnail. So we were using that one. Uh, this one, I believe. And this one? Sure. Okay, yeah, that's better. Alright, let's get on. Um, Yeah, regional phenomena. We're not doing that yet. We're doing... Uh, No, not filling out the compendium. Monsters collection. Monsters collection. Oh, Kilton. That's right. We had to go back to him too. Missing farm tools. Yeah, those are. Yeah, those are all those ones. The Typhlo ruins. New. No. Where was it? We have to go talk to them again. Do we not actually get it, or is it done now that we? Yeah, these guys. Yeah, you were the guys. We were looking for your friend, right? Aww. Yeah, still no sign of Ponto, so I could have sworn west into the Grudo Desert. Okay, a sinkhole. Oh. You must have seen one by now. The places in the desert where the flow of sand gets all swirly like a whirlpool. One false step into those and it'll it'll suck you right in. They're constant worry to travelers around here. Rumor has it that there are actually caves hidden under those sinkholes. I'm not about to investigate, though those things are scary. All right, so west, yeah, is this way. And now we can actually see what's going on. That'll help a lot. But yeah. So, sinkholes. Um, yeah, I don't see any sinkholes over here. I guess we just go and look for a sinkhole this way. Oh yeah, we need to do the geoglyphs too. That's another thing I've been meaning to get working on. Alright, another flying vehicle. Oh, we're cold now? Yeah, that's the real annoying part with the Gerudo Desert. Hot to cold, hot to cold. There, all better. Now... Once again... So first, let's check. Oh yeah, we're way south. We need to go straight west. Unless it's west path past the ruins here, or is it in the ruins? What is that? Oh, we went there already. Unless it's like all the way west. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything because there is... Where is it? I think it's down... Over here, yeah, there's all these sinkholes where there's a piece of armor. I don't remember which one it was. But yeah, west is not that direction at all. I don't see any... Th oh, there's that. That's a circle. Look at that. The only... Aha! Yeah, is that west at all? That is like slightly west, but it's the only sinkhole I see around here, so it's gotta be it. Then we'll probably go get that that shrine, or 
No, we got that shrine already. So, what's down here? Ha! He is here. Somebody who looks like it could be him. Yeah, which way? Right? Yep, you look like him. I messed up. What? A person? Ooh, sorry. I never thought I'd run into another person down here. Fell down a sinkhole, did you? So did I, my guy. My name's Ponthos. I'm a member of a caravan squad. Or I was before monsters attacked the oasis and I dished my friends and ran. That's how I wound up down here. I've looked all over the place, but I still can't find an exit. You and me might be down here for a long, long time. Well, not me, but perhaps you. You don't have magical powers. If you have magical powers, you can get a lot more done. But what is that? That looks like an exit to me. Moron. And lizards. Yeah, I still don't know how to catch the lizards. There's got to be some trick to it, I'm sure. But I don't know the trick. Alright, yeah. Big boy. You. Go. Hey. Alright, I guess he can't fit under there. Alright, go there. Yep, now it's open. Aha. We got more stuff. More ways to go. So... Yeah, can we walk you under here? Can we do that one? We can do those ones. Cool. And nothing that great. And we need you again. And you missed this piece right here. No bad guys? Oh, sheesh. Well, there's a bad guy. Yep, those are like some of the easiest bad guys to deal with, though. Another one. Alright, I guess we just go around in a circle. So, take that one. Nothing too great in here. Just a bunch of these. May as well. They're all so close together, I can't resist. And then this one. I guess that one's probably the way out, because that's where the water's going. Yeah, definitely glad we picked him up first. Well, before here, anyway. Don't care anymore? Uh oh. Must have been a rusty sword. I didn't even... Aha! No way! I thought I heard some kind of commotion. Look at that. We've got a path out of here. Did you do all this, my guy? <laughs> you gotta tell me, how'd you pull this off? Good magic sage power? Oh, I bet we can climb that ladder up to the surface. Yeah, I bet that's Ooh. what we can do. Thank you so much. I better hurry back. I'm sure my friends are worried sick. Oh, but I still want to give you a proper reward. Drop by Car Car Bazaar when you get a chance. Good. I was worried he's gonna take me out of here. We got a bunch of stuff to go and yeah, collect around here. Like crabs. No, not the crabs. Oh. I heard the noise. It is blood moon time. Uh, where's our buddy? Not, not you, the other big guy. He's gone. He's gone. I don't know what the little ones are really good for. When the glow yep. of the blood-stained blood moon. moon shines upon the land. Um, yeah, that was, there we go. Yeah, I don't know why it's a different button for skipping the blood moon. Oh, and of course, these guys come right back. So that means there'll be another guy right over here. And what, weren't you one? Right. Weird that out again. And where is, there is he. We got him back. There's got to be a booble frog down here too, right? 
And we, of course, have to pull that out of the dirt for some reason. Mm, yeah, we don't need another radiant shield. We're good. Alright, and we got some more busting to do. Oh, lovely. We'll take this. Yeah, I hear the, bu the bubble frog. He's got to be behind that one. And go. Alright. Maybe he's behind the other one. Or is there two exits to... Yeah. Two for one. Booble jam. There was that other booble gem we needed to go get as well. I don't know if we're going to have time for that. I should probably do it before I totally forget about it, though. Okay, we're all done here. Do we even need to... Yeah, I was thinking of ascending. But we just need to go to the bazaar anyway, so we'll do that. Alright, where's that guy at? He's over this way, I believe. Yeah, I still want to know what that Rito guy is doing here, too. Probably talk to him. Yeah, there you go. I still can't believe there was a whole cave under a sinkhole. What a relief you and Ponthos made it back safely. Um, okay. So do I have to actually talk to him to get a reward? <laughs> yeah, I really owe you my guy for this one. Oh. This young man saved your life. We all owe him for that. Though no matter how many times I hear it, I still can't believe anyone survived falling into a sinkhole. As the leader of the caravan squad, allow me to thank you for bringing Ponthos back to us. Oh. And as a reward... I get some weird black ball thing. How about this orb, my guy? It was a weird pattern on it, and it's probably rare, right? Or it has a weird pattern. Whatever it is, you know it's cool. Trust me, I'm a merchant. I've got an eye for things like this. Hmm. I know someone in Gerudo Town is on the lookout for stuff like this, so I was going to see if they could appraise it. But I'll let you have it, my guy. It's the rarest thing I've got, and it's all yours. Take good care of it for me. Um, okay. So, I guess we have to fuse it in order to bring it to Gerudo Town. Um, do we have a shield? Uh, most of our shields, I guess we can put the put it on the Zora shield. Oh, doesn't fuse. Oh, no. well then, how the heck are we going to get it to Gerudo Town? I guess we got to make a vehicle. All right, which way even is Gerudo Town? Should probably check that too. Um, is behind us. So yeah, that's fine. Hey, yeah. get on there. Oh sheesh, we haven't even got it off the ground. Oh man, this thing is heavy, is it? All right, maybe flying is not the best way to take this thing. Whoa. Yeah, maybe we should have built uh, a car. Fine. So, right there. That'll work. Alright. Yeah, much better. Okay, Gerudo Town. Is this way? Yeah, pretty much. Oh, and it's those guys. Yeah, we've seen those guys other places. Who are you? All sorts of stuff happening in Gerudo Town. Yeah, we've got most of the, um, like the side stuff to still go do. Yeah, what are you guys doing? Oh. Cairo, she's getting angry. Maybe let's. Why? Why won't you let us in? Oh. As I have said, males aren't allowed in here. Or aren't allowed here. Give up. Go back where you came from. <clears throat> My buddy told me let him in. How come he could go in and we can't? My buddy told me you let him in. Mm? What? That is a lie. Your Vo friend did not get in. There's only one Vo with permission to enter this town. Uh? That one, right there. Oh. Aren't you the traveler we met on the way to Kakariko Village? Yep, that's us. <clears throat> what? No fair. I smell favoritism. <clears throat> favoritism? That Vo is special. You're lucky you are dealing with me and not Marina over there. She'd have carved you to pieces by now. Okay. Um, 
And what are you doing? Don't we know you? Yeah, you're the guy who works with the uh, Impa, isn't it? Yeah, Impa. Oh, oh Link, I, I see you've journeyed here as well. Ooh. Our investigation of the geoglyphs has brought us to Gerudo Town. The thing is, no vo allowed. Mm. That's what they said as they stubbornly denied me entrance. Lady Impa is in town gathering information right now. That means there's nothing for me to do but while away the hours guarding our balloon. I can't believe I was forced to leave Lady Impa's side. How mortifying that I can't fulfill my duty of protecting her. Ugh. Oh, Lady Impa, please come back soon. Yeah, it's not a big deal. It's not like we really were going to do anything to her. Yeah, we got this thing. Oh, sorry. Maybe if I carry it, they won't be so annoyed. Yeah, it looks pretty heavy. Now, where is that lady? Did she move or is she still down there in the cave thing? Shelter, whatever it is. I guess we'll have to see. She was studying that thing, so I would imagine, yeah. Looks like she's still down here. I would think it was you. Yeah, only three left. Um, yeah, we gotta drop it. Talk to you. Saba. Saba. Mm. To learn more about the heroines, I need to find three more Stella. I'm sure all the Stella are uh, in the shelter somewhere, but no matter where I look, I can't find them. Possible they were destroyed or altered when the town was constructed. Mm. I wish I could see the text inscribed on those Stella, or even just a picture. Yeah. Ah. So you're not the one? Of course, I'm happy to repeat myself. Ah. Yeah, okay. Mm. So yeah, it's all just the eh? same stuff. These, yeah, see, it's the same one. Learn the truth about the heroin. Yeah. Okay. So we're just... Um, yeah. See? It's like the same thing. Yeah, what if we put this over here? Like that one was. Oh, wait. It's the symbols. No, they're all the same symbols. Yeah, see? It's got one there. But that's the same sort of ball. Right, so wouldn't you be the one who cares about this ball? Mm. Yeah, three Stella. Mm. Hmm. So do they go somewhere in here? I mean, that one's just sitting there. You could put it in here. Now you'd figure there'd be like... Yeah, somewhere that it would fit. Yeah, this one has one too. Yeah. yeah. They don't have any symbols to match up, so... Yeah, so what do I do with it? I've been all over this place. I haven't seen anywhere that a ball would sit nicely. I guess let's just go set this over here. I don't know where the other one is. So yeah, you've seen both of those. Uh-uh. No magic entrances over there. Oh yeah. Totally forgot about that thing. Where was... Yeah, we need to get her the drink. We've got that thing on our shield. Uh, no, not there. Maybe over here? Yeah, this way. You should be able to give us the drink now. Oh, you're gone. You're not down here anymore. Nowhere secret in here. Oh, there's another ball here. Okay. So it has to do with the Stella for sure. We didn't really look around here very well. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything. Yeah, nothing there. Whoa. That. Yeah. What are you? Oh, just rock salt. I don't care. Oh, it's you. Sabah, the trend is to keep introductions short. 
Mama taught me Slovak, but that's how old people say it. Oh, you're the guy who gave me those sundelions. Sorry for that. The sun balloon Papa made me is really popular, so I made friends with everyone in town right away. It's just like Mama and Papa said, they're still watching over me even though we're far apart. I just remember that when I've, I'm feeling sad, I'm really glad I came. Okay, that's that's all you have to say. So yeah, what about in the prison? Oh. When we get in there, this is the jail. Even though you have special permission to be in Gerudo Town, I still won't let you pass this point. Really, the only way into this jail is to break our rules. Bo are normally not allowed inside our town. The one in jail broke the rule that rule, so he's locked up. And even though you have permission to be here, if you break the rules, you'll join him in jail. Mm. Everyone has gone back into town, but I'm stuck here on guard duty, keeping watch on this bow. Oh, stupid bow. Can we talk to you now? Oh yeah, there's one in there. So we have to get in there. And... Yeah, see, in another game, I just, you know... Oh, Perda. Who's Perda? You're not Perda, are you? You're Kata. But he's looking for Perda. You're not... Yeah, you're Kaliban. You are Rotana. Who's Perda? Oh, are you one of those ones? Oh, that's what we're doing. We're looking for the dang drink. Where's the drink lady? What are you doing? You're a guy. A long way. Oh, Fanlin? Are you... Oh, you are a girl. Never mind. I really want you to go... We... I, I really want to go back, but I'm worried about traveling. Oh, I'm sorry. I was so lost in thought that I didn't notice you. Originally, I came here to share my prized recipes with people. With that done, I was going to head home, but I've heard some scary rumors. Mm. Apparently, the Yiga clan has been spotted behind a waterfall along the can along the road in Gerudo Canyon. They've got to be up to no good in there. Sigh, how can I head back with that weighing on my mind? Oh, and there's actually a recipe on the wall there. Um, tomatoes, salt, and milk. That sounds terrible. Where is the drink lady? Are you... Who are you? You're not Perda, are you? No, you're Nelly. Drink lady, drink lady. Where is the drink lady? Well, this Boss looks up, like a croissant. Nelly. Do you sell drinks and croissants? Boss oh, time up. to relax. Mm -hmm. Okay. No. Um. Yeah, not right now. Oh. We probably do need that, but... Is the drink lady back here? She was next to you last time. No. Yeah, maybe the drink lady is in the castle. Let's talk to Impa. She's right here. Yeah, right here. Hmm. This is the last place I would I expected to find you, courageous one. I came to investigate lo the local geoglyph, but the sandstorm scuttled my plans. Now that it's finally died down, I tend to resume my search. There's also the matter of the temple at the bottom of the canyon in Hebra. Otto has been studying the relevant literature and is certain it will aid us in our search for the geoglyphs. Clearly, we must investigate this forgotten temple. Maybe that's where the first memory is at. We still haven't gotten to that. Yeah, nobody's selling drinks in here by the look of things. You're still just being lazy on your throne. Yeah, I don't think anybody's selling drinks down there. Where is the dang drink lady? Or can we learn the recipe now? Isn't that the recipe laying there? No. Yeah, definitely nobody here. Yeah, see? I guess we should collect all these balls. Wait, if it's in here, then there's got to be a thing. I can't break you? No. No, the only ones we can break are these. Oh, I see. So there's got to be one in here, right? Not seeing it. So maybe if we go up from here. Yeah, what's in here? Aha! That's how we get in. Okay, so that's one more of those pictures. So should we talk to him? Yes, we may as well. We're here. What? How long have you been in here? 
Wait, I recognize you. I've seen you walking around out there. I don't understand. You're a man, but they let you just come and go whenever you like. It's no secret that the Gerudo rigidly enforce their law that forbids men from entering the town. Though, how come you're able to just walk around without causing a fuss? I mean, I barely crossed the threshold between town and desert. They threw me in jail faster than I could say, no, wait, not jail. They didn't give me a chance to explain anything at all. I just wanted to see the faces of my wife, Perda, and our daughter, Aklet. That's a weird name. But, and I'm only telling you this because you seem like a trustworthy sort. I've actually seen my daughter a few times, so on average, I'm more than happy, more than happy, uh, I'm more happy than upset. Oh. Even though they have me in this jail, I do see her occasionally. However, I haven't seen my wife even once. I know she was planning to work at a clothing store in Gerudo Town, but that's all I've got. I'm sure my daughter could tell me more, but I haven't been able to talk to her yet. Herda, Aklet, I know we'll be together again soon. Okay. Well. We're getting out of here. Yeah, so where is the drink lady? Is this it? Yeah, this looks like a potion shot. Bossa, I heard all about what you did, Bo. They're saying you fought to save the town. You and your thin frame have more than exceeded my expectation expectations. Well done. Because of you, I was able to return to my canteen, Sarkso. Now let me offer you something for all your help. The first drink is on the house. From Vehi to Vaba, everyone can enjoy the special version of my signature drink, Noble Pursuit. Uh, yeah, a drink, please. Ah, I like your energy. Give me just one second here. Here you go. Sorry for the wait. Noble Pursuit. Yeah, that's the one we need for the... What's her face? Took some serious work, but I'm really proud of the special version of Noble Pursuit that I came up with. I was inspired when I heard that a new Vi was going to be coming to town. <laughs> the drink is full of all the vitamins and minerals you need to take on a, a, a harsh desert day. Uh, it'll really boost your energy. If you like it, by all means, come back and get some more. Oh, but only the first one is free. Ah. I'll be happy to make another for you in the future, but it'll cost 20 rupees. Okay, what does it do? It's gotta be special, right? Uh, no. It is not special in the least. It only gives you four hearts. And nothing else going on up here, really? No. Alright, let's go back down and see if that... Oh, let's also put on our... This shield. Yeah, we were going to get that whole class thing done. Yeah, now everybody's here. She's over there. All right, let's try it. <laughs> this is where I teach the class on Vo. It's only for students who are willing to engage. Yeah, yeah, we've heard all this before. Let's do it. Hi. Okay, pay attention. Today we're going to have a special lesson. Yada, yada, yada. <laughs> Talking to him. All right. Oh. Tana, let's see what you can do. <sighs> yep, same stuff, but we just got the drink for you now. <laughs> Tana. I can't do it. I think I need that drink from the canteen to give me energy. Yep, we got it. Mm, this is Noble Pursuit. You're offering it to me. Hi, uh, Sark. You go to canteens a lot. I mean, they have wonderful drinks there, but that isn't all, you know. It's a great place to relax and you get to meet all kinds of people. Mm. I love going there. I have so many fun stories. Mm? Okay, let's go ahead and stop there. It's wonderful when a Vo and a Vi can communicate their needs to one another. Oh. And it's even better when they can do it on an unspoken level. Mm. Ritana, I think you've got a lot of potential. <laughs> I think you've really helped Ritana find her confidence. She'll have to keep practicing, of course, but this was a very big step for her. Hopefully you'll visit us again. Um, yeah, don't you have one more? <laughs> this is where I teach the class on Vo, yep. Let's do it. Hi. Hey everyone, pay attention. Yep, special lesson. <laughs> okay, all right. Oh. Delton, show us what you know. <sighs> There's no reason for me to practice. I've been abandoned by love, by luck, by happiness. And you're only setting yourself up for disaster by talking with someone like me. <sighs> Sigh, I'm just fated to be unhappy. Steer clear or you'll catch my misfortune. <sighs> Delton, you're... you're you are your own worst enemy sometimes. I've told you already that every time you sigh, you push your own happiness away. 
I know you say that, but <gasps> hey, that thing you've got there, <laughs> isn't that a ring garland? They're famous for, bind for binding the destinies of people. <laughs> this is the first time I've ever seen one. I'd always just heard rumors about them. I honestly never thought I'd see one for real. I mean, what are the odds that something sold in a village far, far to the east would make it all the way here? Plus that it would be carried by this bow of all bow, the only bow that can actually enter a town. Oh. And then this bow would decide to visit this glass and talk to me. <laughs> what an amazing series of events. That can only mean that I haven't been forsaken by luck and love. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> there you go, Delton. It's important to remember that luck and love aren't things that run out. Sometimes they just take the long way to get to you. As your teacher, I'm very happy to see you motivated again. Alright, so we're oh. all done with that. I really do appreciate your help, even if I'm a little disappointed that I couldn't help everyone grow on my own. But sometimes the best way for students to learn is with some practical experience. Sark so for your help. <laughs> this is hardly the end of the lessons, though. Please come back and take part whenever you like. Everyone really grew because you stopped by. We don't get anything for it. Well, that was kind of a waste. And we got one more picture for you. Yep. Here you go. We got one more. Um, let's see. The seven heroines who protect the Gerudo, their power is housed within the seven spirits. Curious, does this mean that the seven heroines' power have changed form even now that they are gone? And what could be meant by spirits? What if spirits refers to orbs like this one? Saoten, I believe I've made a breakthrough. I'm curious about the text inscribed on the Stella. Do you perhaps find did you perhaps find any? Uh here you go. Oh, you don't appear to have any new pictures. Okay. Two remain. Okay, does this one count? Because it's whoops. I mean it's like right next to you, so I'm imagining yeah, that one doesn't count. And of course this one doesn't no. So there's two more somewhere we haven't been. We Oh. This looks like where we put the balls. Yeah. Right, is there even... Yeah, the balls rest up there. Okay, so maybe that opens something up. Let's go grab those balls and bring them in there. And then, which one is this one? And do these things have any symbols on them? Yeah, they do. Okay. So that's an arrow. That's that. That's the one that she's got, is that symbol, it looks like. All right, two dots. Yeah, two dots is right there. And... Bam. Nothing? Maybe you have to get all of them. Or do you have to put them in the correct direction? No, it's just upside down. No, it doesn't seem to matter. It's obviously where they go. Yeah, they they have to stay put, because there's no way they would make you collect them all. No. Yeah, it's probably perfectly possible for them to make you do that. Aha! That's another one. Um, Where's our fan? Oh, let's put on a better thing. Throw that on. And, yeah, we had our fan shield. Oh, face this way. Alright. And we should be able to fix you. Oh. Oh no, it goes the other way. picture of that one. And then, no, it's not just right across from it. That would have been too easy, huh? One more. Not in the classroom, is it? No. Oh, yes. It is. Aha. Oops. Oh, we have to take a picture of it like that, I see. Mm. Yeah, there we go. 
Alright, that's all of them. It's annoying when they do that in games where you have to take take pictures or line stuff up. I forget what games do that, but yeah, I've seen others. Mm. Uh, to learn the uh, the full truth about the heroine, yeah, two more Stella. We've got it. Eh? Yep, we found all of them, I believe. Mm. Does it say? Seven heroines who protect the Gerudo. Their spirits rest within the land of the Gerudo. Mm. The spirits of the seven heroines are hidden within the Gerudo region. Confirming that these spirits are not legend or rumor, but real, is by itself an enormous breakthrough. Hmm. I'm curious about the text inscribed on the Stella. Yeah, we found one more. Mm. Let's see, it says, The seven heroines who protect the Gerudo, when their powers return to them, the Shrouded Eighth will be known. Mm. If the seven heroines' power return, we can meet the Shrouded Eighth. But that must mean, <gasps> there really was an Eighth heroine. I don't believe it. This changes everything. <laughs> We did it. We know what all of the Stella say. Now to put it all together. Ah. Eighth of them connects the other seven powers. Heart, skill, fortitude, wisdom, flight, mobility, and compassion. We have to return to the seven heroes' spirits to them to meet this eighth. This eighth. Hmm. And those spirits are all hidden within the Gerudo region. That should about sum it up, right? Hmm. It occurs to me that there are similar drawings on the Stella too. I think the orb must be one of the spirits that houses the seven heroines' power. You know, deep inside the eastern area of the shelter, there's a place with statues of the seven heroines. Yeah, we found it. Those statues, I remember them looking as if they could hold something. Maybe we should try placing the orbs in their arms. But to do that, we'll have to recover the other six orbs wherever they are. <laughs> uh, the joys of archaeology. As soon as you solve one mystery, another emerges to take its place. But I'm not d deterred. I'll get to the bottom of each and every one. And you, without you, I could not have deciphered the Stella. I hope you'll help me uncover the truth of the heroines. And keep this orb, you're free to use it whenever you want. Eh? Ah, take this too. Oh, and take this too. Okay. Ah. After all, uh, your help with my research, it, research, it is the least I owe you. There are more mysteries waiting for us down here, I know it. My scholarly spirit is soaring. Alright. So we got three of them. So we've got four more to find. And what is this? This was the... Hmm. Ah. Oh, did you come here to do your own research? I see that the orb I gave you earlier is here now. Eh? Which means you must have carried it here for me. Nice work. Bow have their uses, eh? And that's not the only orb you brought, I see. This is a big help. Sark so. That must have been hard, huh? Here, let me reward you. Hydromelons. Ah. So you already tried placing an orb on the heroine statue. But according to you, nothing happened. The shape has me convinced that they belong in the statue's arms. Guess we'll have to return the orbs to all seven of the heroines before we'll know. Ah! But this means we're one step closer to the truth about our mysterious eighth. We could be on the verge of the biggest discovery in Gerudo history. Mm. A good place to start would be searching for similar orbs. Hmm, maybe it's time to go to Patricia for a prophecy. She should be in the palace courtyard. Okay. No. So let's go ahead and put this one up. <laughs> Yeah, this should go here. Fish it in the courtyard, eh? Whoa, we got all this stuff. Oh, Pada. The chief's beloved sand seal, Patricia. Oh, she's the one. She has no ordinary sand seal, though. Patricia is actually something of an oracle. Please offer her some fruit. In return, she'll share a reading with you. So if you give her splash fruit, you'll almost certainly get a strange number-filled reading. I can only assume that the brilliance of those readings is simply beyond our understanding. Um, okay. Can we take all this stuff? We can. Alright, we offer you a fruit. Um, maybe a melon? You like the melon? Flash fruit prophecies seal shall guide you to places worthy of your time. Huh? Patricia, as always, offers guiding words of wisdom. Oh, so we have to use splash fruit. Guess that's what they're saying. Where is the splash fruit? There we go. Nope, not that one. This one. 
All right, I have a splash fruit then. Sheesh. Dicky. Um, it's right there. Steel crat numbers. Oh, I should write this down. Negative three seven eight one. Negative two twenty nine hundred and uh, zero zero four seven. Okay, that was the reading Patricia gave. Mm. Just what do these numbers mean? I've been here. I've been her attendant for a long time, but even I am stumped by them. I can only assume that the brilliance of those readings is simply beyond beyond our understanding. Yeah, we know what it is. It's yeah. Oh. So it's actually not too far from here. Right? Oh, does it not give you... Oh, you have to actually be in the location to get the numbers. So it's basically at the same height we are. And then, yeah, 3781. So we got to go down. Right, I'm assuming... Or no, it's XY. So we got to go left. And then 2,900, yeah, left and down. Zero four seven. So it's a little up from here. Yeah, we're about the right spot that way. We need to go this way. There it is. Aha! What is this one? A Gerudo spear. Um, should we swap that? Whoops, too far. We've already broken the royal halberd. Yeah, let's go ahead and drop that. Yeah, and pick up the burrito spear. We've broken the royal halberd. Um, we may as well just carry it, I think. Oh, and there's another one right there. So, yeah, that'll make things a little easier. Ooh, sparkly. Ota? Ota? Ah, it's the special bow. Hey, look at this. Hi. It's this great orb, or this orb great. After the sand shroud went away, I came outside and found it lying right here. Mama says it's weird, but you agree, it's cute, right? It's my very own treasure. Yeah, I want it. Yeah. Oh, no way. Finders keepers. It takes a special bow, though, to see what a special orb this is. Aww. If you like it that much, I guess I could lend it to you on one condition. You gotta play with, I mean, challenge me for it. Beat me, and it's yours. So, are you ready for a game? Yeah, I suppose. That's what I like to hear. But we can't face off here. Let's go to the shelter. Ah! Not reset my other one. Here we are. Everybody's gone back to the surface, so I get to use the shelter as my own playground. Here's the game. I'm gonna hide and uh, hide a stuffed sand seal doll somewhere here. Yeah. If you find it before time runs out, you win. Okay, now close your eyes for a minute while I hide it. Where should I hide it? Here. Actually, over here might be better. Oh. oh, this is perfect. He'll never think to look by the bed. Okay, you can open your eyes now. <laughs> I found the perfect hiding spot. Good luck figuring out where I put the stuffed sand seal doll. Are you ready to go? Then start. Alright, by the bed. I think the beds are... Yeah, over here. Right? There's beds. It's right here. Ooh. We found it. Yep. Good job. You win. I'll see you back at the entrance to the shelter, okay? Ah. Wow, how'd you find it? I'll lend you the orb now, just like I promised, so you can play with it as much as you want. <laughs> that game was so much fun. Look at that girl. She's like paused over there. It reminds me of something Miss Shy told me. If there's a Voa I have, I have fun hanging out with, and then he's a very special Voa indeed. Huh? See, I knew right from the start that you were a special Voa. Let's play together again sometime. Man. Now we gotta go find where it was again. Where was it? Um. Crap. Oh, right over here, right? Oh, nice. It didn't reset it. These two together. And I don't see any more. Huh? Oh, 
you brought me another orb. Sark so. You deserve something for the trouble. You went to carrying it all the way here. Ah. Will this do? Um, not really. Eh? Oh, do have their uses. Yeah, we've already been through this. If I need more orbs, I'd be thrilled to bring them if you bring them here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, you do it twice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we brought you two at once. Yep. So we get a melon for ah. each one. Yep, we're bringing them. Stop messing around. I'm trying to do your, your stupid puzzle thing here. Is that a circle one? And this one, yeah, is the arrow one. So we've got, what, like a... I don't know what that symbol is. It looks almost like a piece of paper and a, and a sideways equals sign. There you go. Give me some more numbers. Oh, does it only work one time? Yeah, I was going to say. Oh. Negative 3, 9, 11. Negative 29, 29. Zero, zero, 0037. Okay. Yeah, we, we know what he means. It doesn't matter what, what you know or not. So, 3, 9, 11. Gonna be... No, this way. 29, 29. 3, 9, 11. Yeah, that's like in here, isn't it? Up there. I don't see it. 29, 29, 3, 9, 11, and 37. Yeah, it's got to be up there. Oh, it's right there. No, oh, too high. Yeah, I saw it. It's, it's up here, though. All right. Yep, we brought you another one. Oh, you brought me? Yeah, I just said that. Yep. Freaking melon for each one. We better get something way better than a dang melon for getting all of them. Mm, there. Okay. So one more. Yeah, so it's over here somewhere. 800... Nine six nine. It's got to be like right here. Oh. oh, of course it would. So annoying. Yeah, I don't care. Let's just, yeah, just pull out a fan. Yeah, turn you on. All right, the last one. Here you go. Yep, we brought you the last one. Ah. Means it, will this do? Yeah, it's just the same thing. You figure mm. for the last one we get something better. Yeah, and there are seven statues. Return them while you're here. Could I ask you to put the orbs? Yeah, we've been doing that already lately. <laughs> I knew you were going to have me put them in there. Eh? Hang on a minute. That was the last orb, wasn't it? This is so exciting. We returned the spirits to all seven of the heroines. So, any moment now, something should happen. Hey, does the ground feel to you like it's shaking? Yeah. Eek, the, the floor is moving. Quick, over here. Yeah, I knew that thing was going to move. Eh? A hidden room. Let's go inside. Okay. Uh... I'm sorry. In all the excitement, I almost forgot my manners. We wouldn't have found this hidden room without you, so you should go in first. Okay. Plus, that way you don't have to actually do any movement. So, what is this? Just a, a big ball. Um, examine. Our hearts are full with gratitude and praise for the one who saw in all, us all that we could be. We have enshrined an appropriate gift in the sanctuary at North Gerudo Ruins. The outsized orb near the 8th statue shall be the key that opens the way. 
should be fine to come inside now, right? I want to get a better look at that stone seat Stella. Mm. Hmm, I see. The North Gerudo Ruin Sanctuary, it says the giant orb is the key. Ah. There's some large ruins located just north of Gerudo Town. Beneath them is a place called the Gerudo Sanctuary. I've been there often in my research once. I found an entrance leading below ground on the north side, but... At the time, I couldn't figure out how to get inside. Now, though, I think this large orb might be the key that opens the way beneath. And, if I'm right, the truth about the mysterious eighth, which no one has ever learned before, will finally come to light. Hmm. Except, I'd have to carry that thing. And I got into archaeology to look at things, not carry them. Ah. I'm going to entrust the task to you. You only have to carry it a little ways up to the North Gerudo ruins. It should be no trouble for you. Do this much for me, and I'll consider you a full research partner. The truth about our mystery eight will be something you and I uncover together. Are you kidding me? All you have to do is carry it to the North Gerudo ruins. Where is that? Yeah, I guess it's not too far, but still. Sheesh. Alright, I'll probably just see you guys over there. Oh, I guess we could have gone up through... Oh man! And yeah, we'll just freeze you. There. Got electric tail now. Ah! We're gonna have to fight that other guy now. <laughs> That's funny. Injured him a little bit. Thing in here before we have to fight any more of those annoying guys. And does something fancy happen? Yes. Oh, it just opens the gate. Alright. So hopefully we don't need to go and, you know, tell that lady anything. She'll just show up here eventually. My guess, anyway. So, what is here? Ah. First, more bomb flowers. More holes. No, I don't really want the small ones. I only want the big bright blooms because the small ones are kind of useless. Oh no, more gates. So, oh, these guys. Um, sure. goes ways, huh? Well, there's two levels. Is there? No. no. Yeah, there is. Sort of. Oh, no, there's not. It just looked like a door. Not actually a door. Oh. Yeah. Down. crawling. Oh, hurt somebody. No. Nope. This one. More you guys. Arrows. Always take some arrows. And 
this way. Yeah, not too quick. Our breaker boy. Let's break it. Bam. Whoa. Ah, one of these ones, eh? Run. Oh, there's those glowy fish. Glowing cave fish, whatever. Don't need them though. Yeah, the glow power does not really work very well, I don't think. Aha! Statue of the Eighth Heroine Room. We got some weapons. No, just a shield. Yeah, they do have some weapons. Okay. We do need some bows. I think. Aren't we low on bows? Yeah, we are. Take some topaz. Oh, topaz, ruby, and sapphire. Yeah, all right. Three hundred rupees. Now, what does this say? Long ago, a monster monstrosity of the sands attacked Gerudo Town. Its war cry rang out over the dunes like a raging demon. We seven heroines of the Gerudo, the most stalwart, chosen by, surged forth to engage it. Yet this monstrosity tossed us about like the tumbling weeds. We feared that the proud Gerudo would be extinguished. And then a hero appeared from afar. He marshaled the seven heroines, counseling us to combine our strengths. The strength upon strength of we seven routed the monstrosity. We named our benefactor the guiding light of Gerudo. Yet though we had naught but the highest praise for him, he was refused entry into Gerudo town. It was Gerudo law that all those like him were barred. How hollow our gratitude and praise must have rung in his, in this hero's ears. Thus was the link between his people and the Gerudo severed. Though we never bequeathed it to him, the gift into which our feelings are bound is enshrined at this sanctuary. Okay. So that's it. That's all we get for this, this whole thing. Alright, and what do we do? We go talk to her. Yeah, we discovered the Stella deep within the sanctuary. Apparently the eighth hero was a Hylian Voe who saved Gerudo Town long ago. Return to Gerudo Town and let Rotana know of your findings. Okay. So, after all that, that's it, huh? Oh, and you got a, a, a sword in there too, but I don't- I think we're full up on swords. Yeah. Oh, we could use a shield though. Yeah, we'll go ahead and grab it. Why not? Just to have a shield. Yeah, we'll pull on that. And then... Was there anything else in here? Yeah, a Gerudo Spear, we just picked one up. And that's just where we were. So, nothing else here? Oh, there's a Booble Frog. How do we get over there? That'd be a way to get over there. And there's a chest. Gotta be more stuff see any other ways. Yeah, it should be right there. Right below here. Alright then. Yeah, I'll have to look it up probably. So let's head off back to Gerudo Town and finish this out. Yeah, she's still down in the shelter. I almost didn't make that one. <laughs> You're over here. Could be. Oh, so that's the kids' class going on right now. Yep. Let's tell her we found it. Oh, what happened to that big orb? What? You found your way into the sanctuary. That giant orb was the key after all. Well, did you learn anything about our mystery eighth? What? 
The eighth was a bow. Is that true? Saoten, if you asked me what I thought the truth would turn out to be, I'd never have guessed this. To say that what, what, what we learned here will upend what we know of the Gerudo history is an understatement. Eh? I've got to write up these findings as soon as I can. Don't worry, I'll mention your contributions as well. Uh, hang on. Oh? What name should I credit you as? Oh? Link, eh? That's a funny coincidence. Must be nice having the same name as Princess Zelda's favorite swordsman. I'll write this report up nice and thorough. I know you're excited to read it. Oh, before I forget, this is your reward. One diamond? <laughs> Next time you see me, I'll be the star of the Archaeological Society. Well then, sub -orc. That was slightly disappointing. I was hoping for like a piece of armor or something, but no. Alright, so now we are off to um, do side quests or... Yeah, where was it? Uh, the well, no, we want um, White Bird's Guidance. Oh, those are the Shrine Quests. Yeah, we never got around to that. Well, I wanted to do at least one Zelda thing. I think that's all we're going to really have time for. Um, the Master Koga, no. Owl Protected by Dragons. Oh yeah, that thing. And so, potential princess sightings. So yeah, visiting, so let's do the Gourmet's Gone Missing one. That's going to be over here. All right, let's go. And actually, I think I'm gonna go and cook up some stuff real quick since we got some nice weather and we're low on food. And it's been a while since I've been back to this stable. Yep, and you actually, yeah, give me some arrows too while we're at it. Yeah, yeah. So talkative. Yeah, where are we? Oh, 283? Yeah, we should still wow. buy him. Okay. Yay. Now we're over 300. Okay, so wow. we should be good for a while. And tireless? Yeah, we'll get some tireless frogs because those are good. Wow. Yep. Those are good for making um, stamina potions. Yep. All done. Okay. Some food, real quick. And we want that one. Yeah. Alright, that should be good. Is that art? No, it's just kind of the same color except model. Alright, let's go talk to the bird dude over here. Is he should be able to tell us what's going on with these, uh, the gourmet thing, right? Uh, so the gourmets didn't send word that they weren't coming. Hmm, my keen reporter instincts say something is wrong here. Goddard has been over there waiting for the guests to arrive. He's barely moved this whole time. Which means it's more likely that something or someone is keeping them from getting here. And they have a recipe that Princess Zelda taught them. Related? Maybe, maybe not. As I always say, starting now, leave no chirps unchecked. The warbles unweighed. I'm saying we should look into this. Yeah, I think we already heard that, but it's been a while. Oh, and let's put on a different shield. Because, yeah, the one we've got is not good. What weapon are we currently? Yeah, we're on that one, so that's fine. Oh, that's deeper than I thought it was. So we need to talk to you, I believe. What are you? I don't care. We're talking to this guy. No sign of them. Something isn't right. I guess and the rest would have would have to cross that bridge to get here, but yeah, what's going on? Oh, I didn't notice you there. Are you a customer? If you're looking for stable services, head over to the counter. I'm waiting here to greet some guests we're expecting. But it's well past when they said they'd be arriving. I'm extremely worried. Oh. They've always crossed Olin Bridge in the past when they were coming here. I figured if I kept an eye on the bridge, I'd catch sight of them eventually. The guests are all gourmets. Their leader, a chef named Agus, has taught me a lot about cooking. Uh... They were all excited to visit, and I was looking forward to it. They have a recipe from Princess Zelda to share. Hmm, if Agus and the others have tents, then maybe they're taking the trip nice and slow, camping along the way. 
Still, they haven't shown up yet. I have a bad feeling about this. Alright, so I guess we go to the bridge. I'm thinking we're going to need a vehicle. And the vehicle we usually use would be this guy. So, off to the bridge. Let's see what's going on there. I don't see anything this way. Oh, there's some tents. That's got to be them, right? Pain. Oh, help, please. Princess Zell, her recipe as written, don't irk, don't imp improvise. Ah, uh, so they lost Zelda's recipe too. So, oh, is this the recipe? Princess Zelda's meat and rice bowl. Combine plain raw meat, hylian rice, and rock salt. Okay. <laughs> this flavorful, comforting dish is sure to fill you with energy, but be sure to follow the recipe to the letter. And cook it. Meat and rice bowl. Okay. So... Who suggested? Who said? Monster meat. Ugh. Okay. Mm. Animal meat, right? Maybe. Urk. Uh. Yeah. Okay. So, nothing new. Is there one we hadn't talked to? You? Mm. Nope. We talked to all of them. Aww. Uh, yeah. Hand over the meal. That smell. Oh. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Can I have that meat and rice bowl? Please, please. I need to eat it. Uh -huh. This. I recognize this flavor. Ha ha. This is the recipe Princess Zelda shared with us. Jute, Telly, and I. Hurry up and take a bite of this. Uh -huh. Oh, thank you for helping us. We were not doing well at all. Princess Zelda taught us how to cook this dish quite some time ago. We ran into her once during our travels. She was full of kindness for us, despite our group being a little ragged on the road. Aww. But I do remember now that she said we needed to follow the recipe exactly. Ugh, oh, whose bright idea was it to substitute monster parts in place of real meat? Uh. That was me. I'm sorry. I was just curious what it would taste like. I thought maybe her recipe would work well with monster parts. Ah. The road to gourmet greatness is littered with stuff you wouldn't think is tasty. Gotta expand your palate. Uh. Now's not the time to sit and figure out best practices for future dietary exploits. We've got to get the, to Riverside Stable. We're so late, I'm sure Goder has been worrying about us. Ah. Uh. We really are grateful for your help. Let me say again, on behalf of everyone, thank you. You don't even know us, but you say you used valuable ingredients to save us from ourselves. Here, please take this. Alien rice mm. and this. Oh, he's just giving us the same mm. ingredients back. Oh, raw gourmet meat. <laughs> so even a little better. We like cooking with the very best raw meat when we have it. You can use all of that to cook yourself a meat and rice bowl sometime. Anyway, we'd better get ready and head to Riverside Stable since we plan to be there. We'll well before now. Ah. I have to get going. Hopefully we'll run into each other in the future. Huh? Well, if it isn't my partner. Aye. Yep, we figured out another one. Oh. Any luck finding those missing travelers yet? I just started to scout for them from the sky when I saw you down here. You chased down any leads at all? <laughs> what? They were right here, too queasy to even move, and you helped them get back on their feet again. <laughs> Interesting. So the chirps and warbles were really onto something. I'm impressed that Ze Princess Zelda's vast knowledge includes things I wouldn't expect, like recipes for dishes. Mm. No, we've now chased five of the leads that might have set, had something to do with Princess Zelda. Ah. Your investigations are the talk of the office at the Lucky Clover Gazette. You've really shown some promise. <laughs> and it turns out the paper is doing really well thanks to the articles we keep putting together. Which is why Tracy told me we're both getting raises. Go on and add this to your nest egg, partner. Haven't we been getting a hundred each time? A recipe from Princess Zelda, perfect for getting folks into fighting shape. Ah, the article mu almost writes itself. Almost. Ah! So we're long. Really wanted another piece of the frog armor. But that's it. That's all we get. Okay. Um, where are we at? Yeah, I think we got time to do one more thing I wanted to do, which was back over at Kakariko Village.
over at the school. Now I'm confused. I should probably go and look it up. Is that sounding? No, we had to come to Kakariko Village for something else for the school. And where is it? Yeah, Compendium, Monster Collection, Messages from an Ancient Era. Is that it? Priceless Tablet? No. Should be. Yeah, side quest, maybe. Um, really princess. Teach me a lesson, too. That should be it. Right? Monster Curry. Yeah, that one. No, it's over there. Um, Ateno Village. That's the one. Not Kakariko. Alright. Yeah, this school. Oh, that's right. Tulin doesn't come out in this town for some reason. So we have to hoof it. So we've got a house in this town. We now have the house in Terrytown, which I have still haven't been back to since I first built it. Should probably go and rebuild it, because the way I built it is not very good. But that's two houses we have, at the very least. I'm sure we have the use of other houses elsewhere. Oh... It's not the right time. Man. I guess I should have thought about that before heading to the school. Forgot that things happen at certain times. It's odd in a Zelda game. At least, I'm sure Breath of the Wild is similar. But, yeah, the last one I played, I don't think it even had a day-night schedule in Ocarina of Time. Oh. It's time to continue our lesson on home economics. If you take Goron Spice, Hylian Rice, and mix in Monster Extract, what do you get? The teacher's confused again. Mr. Simon, you're the one who taught us that monster parts should only be used for medicine. Yeah, if you try and cook with monster parts, it's a disaster every time. No one would eat curry made with monster stuff. I call trick question. Hmm, this just isn't working. If only I had monster curry, I could prove that monster extract can in fact be used to prepare meals. Oh, dang it. What was it? Hylian rice, the monster extract, and no, I forget the other one. Yeah, monster extract, monster curry with Goron spice, Hylian rice, and monster extract. Goron spice. Do we have any of that? Nope. And where do we cook? I guess we can just cook out here on a thing. But do we have the Goron spice? We have the monster extract. Um, that looks like, yeah, Goron Spice. Okay. So we can just pull out our cooking pot. There it is. All right, so Hylian Rice. Yeah, Goron Spice and monster extract. And cook it. Monster curry. Alright, we're all set. Yeah. Oh. Time to continue our lesson in home economics. Yeah. Monster extract. I'm just gonna... Yeah, they just say the same stuff. Okay. I'm gonna get through to them. Yeah, I have the curry. This is monster curry, the genuine article. Class, come see me here. Or come see here. This curry was prepared using monster extract. The color looks a little off. Oh, but it tastes better than I expected. Oh, you're right. It doesn't have that monster musk I was worried about. So if you extract something special from monsters, you can use that for cooking. Delicious. That's right, everyone. Ordinarily, monster parts are only to be used in medicine, but monster extract can be used in meals as well. I'm so happy that my lesson on the subject has finally sunk in. Thank you so much. See those solemn expressions on their faces? The children have matured a bit with today's lesson. You might not think yourself a teacher, Link, but you've already taught them a great deal. I'm not much good at history, but you made it fun, Mr. Link. And the curry tasted great. I pretty much think of you as my teacher already anyway. Thanks, Mr. Link. I can't wait for our next lesson with you. You're a hit with the students, too. You've earned the right to use the school's field. That's the one behind the schoolyard. 
Space is limited, so you can't plant an entire farm back there, but use what you what we have to cultivate whatever you'd like. Uma typically tends the field. Why don't you talk to her to get things set up? Next time, I'm planning a test that will cover everything we've studied up to now. You're welcome to sit in any time. I hope you'll stay involved with our classes here. Alright, so, yeah, that gets us the use of the field. One behind the school. Looks like it's up the hill, right? This one? Oh, and there's, yeah, crickets. Those guys are hard to catch, too. Didn't he say somebody was going to be here? Right behind the school, right? I don't know. Only one anywhere near the school that I can see. Well, that'll be for another day. It's probably not that big a deal since we just duplicate most of everything we need. But yeah, if you are not duplicating things, it is really nice to be able to grow a lot of, well, I don't know how many things you can grow, but you can grow a few things there. But with that, I am out of time for today. So I do hope you enjoyed this one. And in the next part, we're going to be doing something hopefully a little more interesting. Although I do want to get most of the Zelda stuff done. All the, the stable things to get the froggy armor. Though I don't really know how necessary it really is. Golden apple right there. So we may continue on with doing some of that. I also want to get into the bargainer statues to get a few more of them you know, dealt with. So we can get that gloom armor and the, the dark link armor, whatever it is. So we may be doing some depth stuff in the next part. And then eventually we're going to need to go to Kakariko Village. Because that, yeah, is where the last sage is going to be. So if you did enjoy this one, click that like button. And subscribe if you are not already. I appreciate both of those so much. And as always... Thank you so much for watching and hope to see you in the next one. Bye guys.